How do I look in America? You know what? Uh, if it's cold, November 13th, I'm going to be sporting this. And uh, you know what? If it's not, I'll be sporting that. And uh, I could easily been sporting this jersey, Al Davis. I mean, see the play, dude. You know what? If that little tyrannical monster, Lou Holtz, doesn't fucking uh, basically give me such a distaste for the game that I turn my back on it, I walk onto the Raiders, and I fuck shit up, right? Uh, eight teaspoons, gallon of water, preferably distilled. And what you do is you wash it pure, okay? And you know what? Lou, <laughs> fucking whole fast, uh helmet up ass, uh, you know what, uh, on the plane, you know what, it's all fucking good, see how it's soap, see that soap flowing, and it, this shit's gonna disappear, cause China's cutting that shit now, and I have a sample packet from Z Natural, from another distributor in China, trying to earn their business and shit, same stuff, it comes from higher up, they're making it so Dan Quinn can't fucking use blenders anymore, cause it's not pure. They cut it with something that's making that soap float. Not long enough, right? And uh, so what you do, you just shake the shit out. And uh, it's going to rise to the top. It does it on top of uh, fucking whirlpools all across America. 24-hour fitness and shit. Fucking kicking me out when you didn't care about me posting videos jumping rope for a fucking 30 minutes and shit, right? But when I say that, we should get a class action lawsuit, not against you guys, dummies. Uh, fucking dude calling me on the fucking phone, burping. You know, I took it like it was legit. And then you tell me to stay the fuck out. And me saying, why the fuck for, dude? Who are you? Some punk bitch that fucking... Uh, couldn't hold my jock strap back in the day. I didn't say that and shit, but basically that's what it is. You know what? And, uh, yeah, so I don't go to 24 hour fitness anymore. Um, uh, CalFit, I had a black janitor going like this to my son's friend. I mean, he's fucking a child. What? Is that gonna make you cry? Is that gonna make you cry? And I was like, oh man, check it out, dude. You know, certain situations, Playboy, uh, you're not making it home in one piece. Feel me? Uh, certain situations, you're getting fucking, uh, well, I'll put that in a movie, man. You know, if I ran across that shit on a yard, uh, would I be allowed to make him leak? Because it would lead to war, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't be allowed to do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it would have fucked him up. And then, you know what, dude telling me on the phone, you know what, be at my office. Be at my office, fucking, uh, at such and such a time, and I'm like, you know what, I think you got it wrong, playboy, uh, <laughs> I don't work for you, basically, you kind of work for me, since, you know, memberships like mine pay your fucking bills and shit, you know, I, I didn't say that to him either, but, um, he canceled my fucking, uh, membership, and I was actually polite, right, uh, I said, you know what, uh, I don't work for you, um, you know, you mind asking me if there's a time that I have available in my schedule, you know, and, that led to conflict and they terminated my contract and you know what um there's a place called like planet fitness uh it's on greenback just past sunrise and uh it's like ten dollars a month and shit and it'll put you fucktards out of business yeah uh not really because you know what the fucking uh what the uh, middle class kids gotta have somewhere to go and something to do because the rich don't fucking fund anything for anybody anywhere. So maybe you'll still exist, but when I make money off of uh, this shit, so you don't have to shake it, right? And put in all the work. It's all for a dollar a gallon, why not? Water's free and shit. And uh, what if I've already gotten all the soap out? And if women that have Alex Sonoma type situations that are fucking your Christmas up because you think that you might not get too many more Christmases with your kids. If you were to actually drink eight teaspoons a day in uh, a gallon of water, but preferably fucking shake out of the soap before you drink it, because this shit, tell you what, I was over at Jennifer's last night, and guess what? 
she said that she would go to the fight, but you know what? She had a couple of beers. She wasn't drunk. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so things are coming cool. You know what? Uh, it's like this. Um, I like her a lot. <laughs> she likes Jamie, and I got love for Jamie, and I'm heterosexual. And so it's all good, homie. You know what? Uh, my blessing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It would be worth it, definitely. Um, anyhow, uh, and that's on my white skin, dog. And uh, yeah, a guy saying that Dan Quinn is prejudiced. You know what? One of my best friends is Mexican. You know what I'm saying? My cousins are Mexican. I gave them more hugs. Well, doesn't matter. Um, it's all good. Because the truth will come out in the end and shit. And, uh, Unless someone fucking kills me, and it would probably be somebody from the government, and it'd be a bad move, um, because then, you know what, uh, it would eventually come out, and seriously, a coming out party, November 13th, uh, Dan Quinn has discovered how to make the fountain of youth. You can easily make it yourself. All you gotta do is get stevia. It's like healthy detergent for water and see the thing about it is your body is mostly water and drinking water with all that shit in it it's fucking it up and get it out and you can pleasure Jennifer sexually or I could the first night and not have used soap for three days just you know rinsing off and it was all good you know what because it wasn't all oily and shit and uh, you know what it's easy to break a sweat when you get warm. And you can't really fight. Or I can't when you're really in shape and shit. So I go down to a photo shoot. And then, um, uh, gonna spar a little bit with Mike Gazoff. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, jump rope for maybe like 15 minutes. And see where I am on the sweat chart. And then, uh, I'll shadow box and I'll punch the bag for like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. We'll do that. And then I'll be ready to spar. And uh, you know what, Rick Fardell? Put yourself in my shoes, homie. Uh, where would you be on the exhaustion scale, okay, doing all that before you fucking got busy, all right? Before you let it go, right? Uh, It is what it is, man. Fighters get fatigued, and you know what happens? Um, they get hurt. Sometimes, like Benny Perret against Emil Griffith, man. And, uh, topic. I mean, Scott Smith, uh, you know, you might be hetero. I mean, I don't know. I don't care if uh, Sasha left you because <laughs> what, you could only get it up for a whole fast. Um, you know what I was thinking about? Getting make way on my chest, man, because you know what? Fucking uh, put it like this, dog. How much time do I have? Do we really even know? I mean, I can look on the back of this fucking, uh, you know, and put it like this. This house is fucking clean. It's ready to go. Well, yeah, uh, I'm on top of shit. Danny Quinn is back. I'm basically, well, I'm really stoned, and I'm really geed on stevia. Uh, see how quickly that shit disappeared? It's gone, right? But it's no good. And I'm telling you that if you have cancer, or you have lumps, or you have something that's fucking your holidays up, instead of buying all that shit that you don't really fucking need, and that isn't going to last, what you should do is uh, shake yourself healthy, right? Do a little workout, right? And then wait till the soap floats and eject it. And sooner or later, we'll get shit handled, uh, start getting to pure again. And uh, if there's one thing I fucking know, after... Mother Nature tried to uh, nudge me enough time. Uh,
drug dealers. You know what? Seriously, misportrayed in movies. Most of the time, drug dealers are actually cool, okay? People don't go to people that are dickheads and buy shit, right? Um, <laughs> no, pretty much never. At least I never had to. Um, and uh, usually they're really cool guys. They just fucking fell out because society doesn't value fucking uh, commoners as much as it should, right? Uh, a lot of good ideas, a lot of talent, a lot of fucking... I'll tell you what, the fact that they haven't done a story on artistic talent locked up behind bars, I'll tell you what, that's a fucking uh, thesis for a study. You know what? There's so many guys with off-the-hook artistic talent that probably know that things aren't like they should be, okay? It, it exists, but it shouldn't be like this, right? It should be different, yada, yada. And uh, you know what? I'm just about done. And I don't give a fuck what you say, Mr. Smarty Pants, like in fucking <laughs> half-baked and shit. That was fucking funny as fuck. Uh, anyways, uh, this shit about peachy back, this shit makes it so, I'll tell you what, my 23-year-old self with his arms raised in victory, that was one bad motherfucker, okay? MC Hammer just got off the phone with Riley, 5150. And you know what? Please look at the play. And then at the very least, nominate me for an SB long after the fact it was overdue, man. Haven't mentioned Dan Quinn's name and see how much fun we have. But I just told Riley that 95% of anything this generates will go to feed the homeless and the hungry. Right? Because you know what? That's torture making people live in such opulence, right? Food everywhere, and they fucking can't get it because there's not enough cash. 